Hi everyone! Um, this video is basically your first introduction to how to properly drape your client. Okay, We're going to go through a back drape um, and I'll walk you through the landmarks that you need to be looking for. We'll go through a straight leg drape, anterior and posterior, as well as a leg glute drape, an alternate glute drape, I'll show you an abdominal drape, and then we'll go into sideline position to show you a sideline drape. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start with a back drape. So what we like to do is usually if I have a top blanket, I move it down and then I move the sheet. Now what I'm gonna be looking for is, I'm gonna be looking for their underwear line because I wanna tuck the sheet under their underline, their underwear if they're not wearing underwear, we want to just fold and roll nice and tight. Now the body landmarks we're looking for. We're looking for if they have the little dimples that overlies their PSISs, okay? So if you need to palpate, coming from their iliac crest, moving over to where basically that pelvis meets their sacrum. And you'll feel a little joint, or in some people, like I said, there's a nice little dimple. So you want to make sure you're right at that PSIS line. Big thing, you want to make sure that the gluteal left cleft is covered at all times, okay? So once you've found that position, you tuck nice, or if they don't have underwear, like I said, pull nice and tight. Then what we want to do is tuck nice and tight around their iliac crest, the other side, so the sheet is nice and secure. Okay, see so it's a nice clean drape everything is pulled tight and tucked securely. Now if their arms are back like this, what I like to do as well is I give their arms a little tuck. That way they're relaxed and they're not worried about their arms falling off the table. That is a very standard back drape. Okay? Now we'll redrape that. Okay, now we're going to move into a posterior leg drape. The first one I'm going to show you is without the glute being undraped. So this is strictly just posterior leg. So I get the blanket out of the way. Now what I like to do is I just undrape up to the back of the knee to the popliteal fossa, making sure that this bottom corner is accessible to me. Okay. Then there's a right way to do this and a wrong way to do this when lifting your client's leg. Okay, you want to lift it so that it's comfortable for them. I usually lift with the hand that's closest to the table. So I go ahead and lift by the ankle. Then I reach down and I go just under the knee. So you'll see I'm just kind of above the knee, so it's not putting pressure on their kneecap. Then this hand I go ahead and reach around behind to find that corner. And then I'm going to pull it underneath and all the way up. Now you do this in a nice, smooth, confident fashion. It makes a nice, clean drape. Then you go ahead and you tuck underneath their underwear. And then you tuck on the side. This way their hamstrings are open, undraped for you to go ahead and work on all of their abductors and their IT band. And then you can get into their calf and their feet. Okay. Now to undrape this, you basically untuck where you've secured it at the hip. And I start to loosen it again. I'm going to go ahead and pick up their leg comfortably, bring the sheet out, and redrape. Okay. So now if we do a posterior leg drape, glute included. Now. With this client, um, he is wearing boxer briefs, okay? So those boxer briefs are fitted down to the leg. So normally I can't um, go ahead and do a leg glute drape. In this case, we would do what we call an alternate glute drape. So if you knew that that's what they were wearing, then you would have to access the glute from the back. So you would do your normal black back drape, tucking at the sides. Now you want to make sure you have a towel of a decent size. And what you're going to do is 
place the towel here, you're basically going to be replacing the sheet with the towel. Now, of course, you're going to be walking your client through this the entire time. Um, let them know beforehand when we did the informed consent how we were going to be doing this type of drape because we would have asked the client at that point what type of lower underwear they were wearing. Then what we're doing here is walking them through that, okay, now I'm going to go ahead. You're going to remain covered at all times. I'm going to replace the sheet with the towel and you just shimmy down the underwear at that point. Still completely draped, secure on the other side. Now what you do here is just fold back the towel, making sure the gluteal cleft is completely covered at all times. And now you have access to the glute muscle getting into the actual hip joint as well. Then once you're finished, redrape back up. And voila, you're back to our normal back drape. Okay. Okay, so now that I've showed you the alternate glute drape, if the client is wearing, say, a boxer brief type underwear, where you're not able to get the material up to go ahead and expose the glute muscles and the hip joint. Um, now, if they were wearing no underwear or if they were wearing, say, boxer briefs, then you can go ahead and undrape the glute at the same time as undraping the posterior leg. So you would go to start your drape just like you would with a posterior leg. I get the blanket out of the way. Go ahead and find my top sheet. I gather it to just behind the knee, making sure that I've got that bottom corner that's closest to me accessible. Then I go ahead and pick up their lower leg. My hand is underneath supporting their knee, just under. Reaching around, getting that corner, and bringing it under. Now, normally at this point, we would just go ahead and stop right at the base where your hamstrings meet the glute, and then we would securely tuck at the hip. What we wanna do is extend the straight line to include the gluteal muscles. So all you're doing is basically rolling and tucking, okay? So you're gonna roll. If they're wearing briefs, you can go ahead and tuck into their briefs to secure it, pull tight, and tuck at the hip. So as you can see, the drape is very secure. I've got access to the hamstrings. I can get into the glute muscles and into the hip joint and all of those insertion points. Now to undrape that, you would unsecure it at the hip, roll back down over the glute to make sure we've got full coverage. Again, reach under the client's leg. And redrape. Okay, now to get to the other drapes that I wanna show you, we're gonna have to roll the client over. Now I'm gonna do this from the other side so you can see a little bit easier how this is going to look. Now remember, there is a pillow underneath the client's abdomen and a pillow underneath their shins. So before we go ahead and turn them over, what I get them to do is I reach underneath the bottom sheet so I, till I grab the base or the edge of that pillow. I say to the client, can you please do a little half push up so I can remove this pillow from your belly? Thank you. So now I've pulled that out, and you can lay back onto your belly, please. Okay, so we've got the belly pillow out. Now we're gonna have to get the client to move down towards the foot of the table so that they're actually off the face cradle. So you hold the sheet at the top so that it feels secure. And at this point you'd say, okay, what I need you to do is scoop down or move towards the foot of the table so that your face is completely off the face cradle, please. Great. Now you can see he's completely off the face cradle. So now we want them to roll over. Now there's a specific direction that you want them to roll over for safety, okay? You want them to always roll towards you. So what I do is with my legs, I secure my leg, the, the cover between the table and my leg. Then I grab the covers here so that the client is gonna remain covered and secure. And I say, okay, we're gonna roll onto our back. I want you to roll this far shoulder 
towards me, please, all the way onto your back. There. See, they remained covered the whole time. They rolled towards me, so there was never any danger of them rolling off the other side of the table. Now, the other thing we need to do is reposition this lower pillow. So I fold the sheets from the very bottom all the way up. So you can see this lower pillow. Now we need to move it up slightly so it's completely under the knees, so that's more comfortable. So you can go ahead and lift up their legs and then shimmy the pillow up so that it's right under their knees. Is that comfortable for you? Great. And then we go ahead, remove your face cradle and place it under the table so it's out of the way. So now they're in a nice supine position. So at this point, I'm going to show you an anterior leg drape so that we can get into their quadriceps muscles. So we go ahead, move the blanket out of the way, and take that top sheet, and I basically bunch up just so that I can see the client's knee, okay? Making sure I've got this corner, the bottom corner again, closest to me, accessible. Now, I'm going to go ahead and reach underneath the client's leg, cradling underneath their knee with the opposite hand, reaching underneath and pull up. So at this point, the client's quads are undraped for me to work on, the adductors, the abductors, and the whole lower leg. And then I secure and tuck at the hip so that as I'm moving the limb through any of the techniques or ranges of motion, everything is completely secure and covered. Now to go ahead and redrape that client back up, same thing, unsecure the tuck from the hip, let the drape come down to about mid thigh so that when you're lifting the leg, they feel secure. Lift the client's leg, pull the sheet out, and they are redraped. Okay. Now the other drape I will show you is an abdominal drape. Um, we will be getting more into needing the abdominal drape when we're moving into your second quarter. Um, but I thought at this point I might as well go ahead and include that. Now I do the abdominal drape, the same for men and women. Okay, because what we want to do is, um, usually I like to have a little bit bigger towel. Um, but this will suffice for what we need today. Now, same sort of thing that we did with the alternate glute drape is we're going to be replacing the sheet with the towel. Now at this point, um, what we're gonna get is lay the towel over their chest. Now I get the client to actually come up with their hands and I want them to feel in control, keeping themselves covered. So if you wanna come up at the top and hold the towel, so that it's secure and covered over your chest area. Then I'm gonna take the towel down, or the sheet down, sorry, while the towel remains in place. And then we fold down. Now we're looking to find their navel, and the landmark is going to be their ASISs, okay? So we're feeling for their iliac crest coming around to the front of their pelvis. So that's what we would drape down to. We would tuck in the sides. The towel, we would make sure that it stays completely covered through the upper chest area. And we make sure that we just have that costal arch exposed. And then the towel was a little bit bigger. We could go ahead and tuck underneath so that they feel secure, okay? This way the whole abdomen is open for massage. And then when we get into abdominal massage, we would get them to go ahead and bend their knees for easier access to those abdominal muscles. Now to undrape this or redrape them back up, we go ahead and then just go ahead and cover the towel with the sheet and then let the client um, deal with that when they get off the table. There's no sense in messing around with the towel after this point. Okay, that is an abdominal drape. Okay, the last drape I'm gonna show you is how to do a drape in sideline position. Now, when you set up the table for a client that's going to be in sideline, you have a little bit of variation with your pillows. So instead of having the abdominal pillow and the pillow below their knees, 
you would just have one pillow under the sheet for their head and no other pillows, okay? Then you're gonna ask them to go onto the table, onto their side. Once you come back into the room, this is where you're gonna place your other two pillows. And the one pillow here, what I do is I keep the cover completely over the client and I say to them, okay, what I'm gonna do is place this pillow in between your knees, okay? Just for some extra comfort for you. And then if they need to readjust, you can let the client readjust for comfort themselves. What I also like to do is take one more pillow and offer them a pillow to hug. That way it just gives them a little bit more support um, in their upper chest region and also especially for female clients, it gives them a little bit more security that they feel that their chest area is covered. So I'll give you that pillow back. Okay, so now they are comfortable in that sideline position. They've got a pillow between their knees, a pillow under their head, and a pillow to hug. Now your drapes are gonna look a little bit different in sideline. To go ahead and undrape the back, and move the blanket out of the way. And with a back drape, it's literally a lot of tight rolling, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and slowly keep rolling until you get down to the PSISs and then you just do a nice tight tuck, okay? If they're wearing underwear, you can tuck that sheet into their underwear as well just for extra um, security and then tuck under their hip and then this drape is still up over their side breast tissue and they've got that pillow that they're hugging to help keep that drape nice and tight and secure. Then their back is, is totally open for you to work on. Now normally it's harder to do their entire back when they're in sideline position like this. So when they're on their left side, this is where I'm gonna be working on the right side of the back and then getting into shoulders and then you can move to the opposite side of the table and you can get into shoulders a little bit more and then into their arms at this point as well. You can also get into a lot of their cervical um, muscles at this point as well. It's fairly good access. Now to redrape them, you just untuck and do the opposite. Okay, so now I'm going ahead to do a leg drape. So at this point, I get the blanket out of the way. I take that top cover. And just kind of bunch it at the knee, making sure that the actual corner away from you on the opposite side is accessible. And then you go ahead and lift their knee and you bring that under. Now, this is where there's gonna be a little bit of shimmying as you move the sheet up. So you're pulling this one that you pulled under and rolling the top one. So at this point, you can stop here and just do an actual leg. If you wanna get up into glute, it's just a little bit more shimmying that you need to do. Always taking care that you're keeping them covered. If they're wearing underwear, you can be tucking into the underwear at the same time, making sure their gluteal cleft is covered and everything is nice, tightly rolled and tucked. This way you can get into their leg and their glute, okay? And then if their bottom leg is a little bit chilly, what I usually do is just take that bottom sheet and roll over. And that is a sideline light drape. 